In this video, we'll have a quick look at um, simple sorts on screen. Let's try saying that with a plum in your cheek. Simple sorts on screen um, of the customer list. We'll actually be having a look at more advanced searches later in a separate video. Now, when you first um, load Sage and the customer list appears, it's actually set up with fields which essentially relate to credit control because you've got the name of the client, the balance, the name of your contact there and the telephone number. So if you're doing a quick ring round to chase up some money, you could just look at your customer list and go, oh yeah, Bob's building supplies owes us just over four grand. I'll give Susan a ring. Here's her number. Great. Now you can actually sort your customer list by fields. You can sort by account field, by name field, balance, contact and so on. Now the name is useful to be able to sort that because although it would seem logical that the name like A1 Design Services will be in alphabetical order with the account number, that's not always the case. So it's useful to be able to sort them. The balance is a really useful sort. If we press on that, that will actually sort it strangely with the smallest at the top but if you sort it again it will sort with the largest at the top so at a quick glance you can see that FG Landscape and Design owe us over 11 grand so I think it's time we gave them a call. Now you can actually select which fields you're going to display on this customer list if you right click anywhere on any of these fields right click this brings you up with a list of fields that can be displayed but obviously this is limited by the size of the window available so even though you might say want to add an email address you won't be able to see it very well because you can't resize these columns um, and so you're gonna have to take one other field out but it just depends what what's really um, useful to you so if you did decide you want to display the email field it has actually had it on over here but you can't see it then take out I don't know the telephone number because you wouldn't be emailing telephone at the same time and so then that changes and now we've got no telephone on here but email none of the clients we appear to have put email addresses in for but uh, we'll look at that elsewhere later so if we then want to put it back to how it was right click take out the email right click put back the telephone number and then sort again by account number which will sort everything back into the order we first encountered it now down here this little swap button is quite useful say in this small list of customers we wanted to ring them all except Bob's Building Supplies and Johnson Design and Build say we could highlight the two that we don't want and then we can say swap and that it will reverse the order so all the ones we do want are now highlighted so say if we were running reports on all those others that's a quick way of selecting them and then to clear that selection